everyone, and welcome to R D D. <laughs> lost mine and fan Dale for, oh my god, Alex died, great timing. Um, lost mine and fan Dale for, Am I dead? No, you're, you're back. Your camera's dead, but we can hear your voice. Um, no, character creation. Cool. Camera's not working for me, so if you could refresh, that'd be great. Um, oh my god, great start, 10 out of 10. Yep. Where all our question mark players just died. Only Namorlock and Jack were capable enough to to escape the, the red brand hideout without like losing HP at all. Kill all our souls. Yeah, by, that's that's the strategy, guys. Just kill other people and you will get their HP. And that's how to. Just to like, I, I would have looked at the rules of temporary HP. You can't like you can't stack full HP. It just goes up to a max. It doesn't matter because I, w I wouldn't have lost enough HP anyway, but mm. it's oh, okay. what I curiosity. Cheater. What does a max at, Scott <laughs> asked? It doesn't max, so like if I had, because I get five every time, if I had more than five, it wouldn't add on. Oh, I see, um, okay. It just, it, just, it just tops it up, right? So if I had two left and I got the five, then I would go up to five, I wouldn't oh. go to seven. Right, okay. Awesome, right. Okay, so what we're going to do is, these guys, amazingly enough, are going to have a connected history. Um, what we're going to do is, why it's this is why you're seeing a video with the three of them together. Uh, poor Jack left out all on his own, though. His money and his sword is probably uh, <laughs> soothing him a little bit in his pet uh, goblin. We'll start with one of them, we'll go through the full thing, and then we'll continue on. So who wants to volunteer to go through their character first? Alex. Me, because I might need to leave early. Awesome. Um, so, yes. I am going Ring. to be... So I was originally a dwarf. So start it this way. A dwarf <laughs> called On Onyx Grimbeard. I'm enjoying, by the way, after your character sheet open. I just have to say, you've not filled in anything <laughs> at the top. It's great. <laughs> Absolutely great for the people at home. I'll do that now. Um, yeah, continue, sorry. So I was originally uh, a, a dwarf called Onyx uh, Grimbeard, and I was a blacksmith, well, kind of a blacksmith by trade. I was part of a, the Grimbeard clan, who were known for being smiths. However, I wasn't that talented, particularly, compared to some of the master dwarven smiths. So I actually was uh, an enforcer for them. I guarded the mines. I did the, uh, the sort of the security work for them. So my uh, background is going to be a bravo. Awesome. Nice. Taken um, from hack and slash. Yep. Bravo is so mean. Yeah, bravo is pretty <laughs> cool. Insane. So here's the little uh, description of what Bravo is. Everybody needs a little help now and then. Sometimes this could be a glare. Sometimes it means, means standing around nearby as a show of strength. Sometimes it means you had you got to break someone's kneecaps. Never can tell. So yeah, I was a thug. Um, Bravo's like psychopaths. That's insane. Yeah, basically crazy <laughs> bouncers, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. Um, so as per that, I get proficiency with strength and intimidation, or sorry, athletics and intimidation. Uh -huh. uh, proficiency with any blunt weapon, so anything bludgeoning. Uh, so for mine, because it's basically the same thing, is under simple weapons, I'm assuming there is a bludgeoning weapon, but mine is a crowbar. Awesome, okay. That I'm going to use as a melee weapon as well. By the way, that that game um, proficiency is not game proficiency with all of them. You choose. You choose it's one. pick one. Yeah, I presume that. Um, yeah, with any blunt weapon. Oh, you choose one, or I get all of them. You choose one of them. Yeah, you choose one blunt. Choose one. So yeah, whatever blunt weapon it will be. I mean, I get it from my class anyway, but mm -hmm. uh, it will be the crowbar as a melee weapon. That's awesome. <laughs> nice. Um, so, equipment, I get the blunt weapon I have prof proficiency. <laughs> so you're going to get two crowbars. Good start. So, uh, yeah. Uh, a ten, feet, 10 feet of chain. Uh, or, can I take proficiency in chain as a blunt weapon? You cannot take proficiency in chain as a blunt weapon. I mean... Surely there's a, a blunt reach weapon. Yeah. What and else would it be? A chain that I slap people around, about, around with. Has anybody seen one of the most recent episodes of The Walking Dead? No. With Daryl with the chain. Oh, that's, a, that's pretty badass. Anyway, that would happen. Uh, a set of common clothes, a 
a sledgehammer, a holy symbol, a potion of healing, a stylish or dapper hat. So I've not decided what that's going to be yet, but I am going to have a dapper hat. And Specifically, a as it does say a dapper hat. You can't just have a hat. It must be no, dapper. It must be wedge-shaped, <laughs> wedge-shaped tri-cornered, or pointed front to back. One of the three. <laughs> So, okay, I've got um, I found his character. <laughs> and either a pet, a pet rat or a pet snake. So I'm gonna have a pet snake as well. Um, so the next part is the Got specialty. There. So there are many different reasons you might have have been an enforcer. Select or roll one from the list below. Grant the appropriate contact or ally. So I get a contact or an ally. Um, so mine would be. Uh, a mercenary. You acted as a private police force for commercial interests. So that was you. You're working as a as a dwarf. The dwarfs paid you to protect them. Yes. Um, and then I get a feature as well. So in addition to the contact or ally listed above, you have a mentor who is a specialist in some skill, either physical or mental, who is positive and reciprocal relationship with you. This could be an old apothecary or alchemist who heals my wounds, a blacksmith or an old witch or whatever, whoever it may be. So mine is going to be the the dwarven smith, master smith that I worked for. Awesome. Which also ties into my feat of a heavy, the heavy armor expert to give me the hev heavily armored, some proficient in heavy armor. Are you going to be well. a are you going to be a barbarian wearing heavy armor? Correct. I, my, my, just to give away my class, I'm going to be a barbarian. You know you can't rage in heavy armor, right? You can't rage in heavy armor? No. Oh, well, I'm going to have to rethink that entire sort of plot hook right there. Um, <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah, so I probably should have read my class. Okay, so I'll, I'll rethink my, my feet uh, and not be heavily armored. Oh, no, sorry, you can rage, but, you just get none of the benefits. <laughs> anyway, so we'll rethink that part. But yeah, I'm a barbarian as well. So I'm going to have a great axe and all that good stuff that barbarians have. And now for can, your... you, can you rage in, in, me, in medium armor? Yes. Okay, well, I'll, yeah, whatever then. I'll think about that. So your suggested characteristics then. Are you going to roll for yes. them? Yes. Please roll I... for them. Please roll. <laughs> please, please roll for them. Okay, I'll roll for them. Uh, so first one is my per so I get two, two in this, so yep, two personality traits. Oh, he's gone. I think he's gone. Two no, and four. Number two and number four. <laughs> 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 I am secretly inside, just like the people I hurt. That's why I hate them so much. Secretly, <laughs> I think you're meant to you're meant to put something there. Secretly, something inside, right? I am secretly. I don't know. What? I think there's, been, there's a word I think secretly hurting inside, secretly evil inside. I don't I don't really know what that means. No, neither do I. I think we can we can kind of work with that though. Uh, <laughs> and then number four, which is I like physical confrontation. It's not stressful. It's exciting, and I feel so alive. Also, I'm usually much better prepared than those I face. I don't like talking and waiting beforehand. It stresses me out. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> um, so yeah, my uh, was I abused by a family member when I was a child? <laughs> oh, that's something like deep. that. Like, is that too too deep? Or yeah, that's, that's, what, that's, what, that's what you said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, Scott. Should we roll? I, maybe we'll finish rolling what... and we'll find out because maybe yeah. depending on your flaw, it could be the case. Yeah. Yeah, possibly. Uh, so my ideal, let's roll that, d6. Number five incoming. Oh! <laughs> what is it? Conflict drive. I love to fight. <laughs> he hates his enemies. <laughs> yeah, basically. I love to fight. My bond, let's roll another d6. Four. You keep the teeth, not all of them, just one. Sut subtly, it's not like you're wearing them around your neck. I think that's sarcasm what? there. You're ha you have a chain of teeth around your neck. It's like sarcasm. 
Oh, so I collect mm. the things I kill. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So it's like, subtly, it's not like you're wearing around the neck, but you are wearing I wonder around which around character neck. did that? Who's huh. <laughs> 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 that around the soul? And my flaw, number four. I don't like oh. myself. I always end up lashing out to the people who care for me to drive them away. <laughs> I like number oh, six and number one. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like the worst person. Yeah, the for, number one would have been fucking brilliant. Uh, so, uh, oh, that's the one I wanted. Be? I am sexually excited by violence. Oh yeah, I had someone roll that in my campaign. Terrible. <laughs> um, I actually quite like uh, number two. I don't have the capacity to feel emotion. My loyalties shift like the wind. It's up to you if you want to choose. It's up to you. Um... It's always optional. And then number six, it's just... No, six is great. What, <laughs> all it is is one word, cancer. What that means is open for interpretation, I suppose. Um, That's your but, flaw. Yeah. Your flaw is you have cancer. My flaw is that I have cancer. Yeah, I'm dying. I have six months to live. Let's lash out at everyone. Um, yeah, so I think I'm actually going to choose number two. So yeah, I don't would... have the emotion. Okay. That would totally work, by the way, because cancer would always be about you trying to get to this spellforge to create something to cure you. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, so that's me. Hey, that's you're... me, and I've got a barbarian. couple of contacts as well. And I'm a barbarian. Yeah, so you got so... unarmored defense, gives you 10 plus your dex plus your con if you're not wearing any armor. Which you're, you went with a low dex so you can yeah. wear armor. Um, mm -hmm. You get reckless attack and danger sense, which is just... You get sometimes you get to attack with uh, advantage if you let everyone else hit you with advantage. But the big thing is primal path. What are you plan going with there? Uh, it's the the berserker, um, the 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 really fucking nuts one, obviously. obviously. Um, so I'm not so I'm not a barbarian in, in in the sense that I'm I was born in the middle of nowhere in the wild and I don't have any concept of. Um, like society, I'm just a fucking psychopath. <laughs> oh yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's basically why I'm a barbarian. Is uh, like some crazy. Holy shit! You get to make another bonus attack. This is why you should take two weapon fighting man or two handed weapon. Just throw it out there. If you have two weapons, your second weapon uses your bonus attack to hit. So you can't actually get if you're yeah, using two handed weapons you can't use three attacks with uh, That's what I'm saying you should use a, a single attacks. a single two handed one you hold with two hands, yeah. Not instead Yeah, that. which I've got a great axe and, and a crowbar. Yeah, that's right. You took you took the great <laughs> for the equipment you took great axe and you took two hand axes and the explorers pack and four javelins. For what did you choose for your skills then? Uh skills I pick so I have athletics, I have intimidation Perception and survival. Awesome. And you rolled your HP and you got predict what was it like eleven and eight, I think it was you got? Uh ten and eight. Yeah, eleven and eight, so and then plus my con, so I've got thirty six HP. Twenty nine. Plus um, Do we want? go over the stats? Twelve. 20. What we rolled? Yeah, that's that's true as well. Yeah, what what did you end up putting in? Uh, so I have from my stats. What did I pick? Uh, well, what plus with ratio? I, yeah, so HP is well. not right. Thirty-one plus six is thirty-seven. Oh, I've got thirty-seven here. That's like I don't think I knew that didn't make sense. How do you get six uh, there? Thirty-seven HP. Fair enough. I can't. I can't count. Um. So my strength is seventeen. My dex is twelve. My con is fourteen. Intelligence. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to swap intelligence and wisdom round. So intelligence 10, wisdom 12. Yeah, we are now rolling stats. Charisma 12. Charisma 12. I'm not very intelligent and I am a... Or, or should I be an intelligent psychopath? I don't know. You chose the first array? Or the... No, you chose the second one, right? I think I chose the second array and then I get plus two... To con. Con and plus one... Strength. Strength. Yeah. That's right. Awesome. And yeah, okay. Is there anything? Trinket. What did you get for your trinket? Uh, we're about to find out. Um, 53 is a small box filled with different sized buttons. 
I was hoping for something like the thumb of a child or something like that. But, uh, <laughs> a small box filled with different size uh, baby teeth. Yeah, yeah, a box filled with teeth rather than a box full of buttons. I think that would be sure. quite... It's not changing it greatly, but... Uh, oh, yeah, you can. A box of teeth. I've got, a, I've got a natural obsession with teeth, it would seem. Oh, you, oh, would, you, would, you know who you'd really have loved? Leonard. Leonardo. Remember him, was, everyone? And, uh, that? It was my Batman character, you'd loved him. The gnome, yeah. remember the gnome who ran the... My guy, my character who ran the dentist shop and he showed you all his Was teeth. that the one I electrocuted? Yes. Cax. 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 Nice. Cax. And Cax, Cax liked teeth as well. Cax barbarian, yeah. Um, to be fair... It, it, if we're absolutely honest, it's a it's very much a surprise that it's taken me this long to actually play a barbarian. Just throwing that out there. That's very true. Yeah. Um yeah. Well hopefully you'll have fun with it. Okay, who wants to volunteer next while you think of your feet and stuff? Uh, um, we've got more to add to that. Yeah, we will be coming back, back yeah. We'll be coming back. He d he's not just still in the still in the crags mine it uh, being an enforcer. Something's happened. No. We'll get yeah. back to that. So, so, okay, Johan said, ah, oh, so we'll go with Scott. Yeah. And what's your name? Uh, so my character's name is Lim Lugaran Sindorin. Okay, L. That's going to be easy for Ross, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Lim Lugaran. Lim Lugaran, Lim Lugaran, Lim Lugaran Sindorin. Yeah. I'm used to, I'm used to the names. They're, 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 <laughs> yeah. More merely a Nahilio. Lim Lugaran Sindorin. You gotta say it like that. Great. Okay. So who are you? I'm Luke. Okay. So um, sim. Oh, Stay off that page then. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, right. Yeah. So similar to Alex's character, I wasn't originally a uh, Ganassi. Um, but I started life as an elf, um, and I was a sage. Like you didn't. They, I'm just saying. Alex didn't actually mention he was a Ganassi, right? Oh no, he did because we talked about the con. Yeah, that's right. You got something else for being sorry, sorry to interrupt, but you got something else from being a Ganassi, didn't you, Alex? Me. Yes. Uh, plus one strength. You also get strong. as you get the Earth Walk. Yeah, and the I have Earth Walk merged with stone, so I'm an Earth. So what happened is, is something happened, and I'm no longer a dwarf. I am a Ganassi, um, which is an elementalist kind of thing. Mm -hmm. and like I what am, happened, uh, Alex? No, he's going to talk about that later. what happened? Talk about that later. Yeah, so I'm now an Earth Genasi. Okay. So know. my appearance is, so I'm still a dwarf by appearance, but my skin is, and like all my features are now like onyx, like the stone. Cool. Black stone. Um, yeah, and you're, yeah. the Earth Walk is he is, you can move across difficult terrain made of earth or stone without expending extra movement, and you can once per day use pass without trace. Um, yeah, which is a spell. Okay, sorry about that, Lim Lugan. Continue. Uh, yeah, so Lim Lugan was a sage and a, a scholar prior to his uh, change. Um, he was trying to recreate a ancient forge that could uh, bind magic to physical forms, um, which is why he enlisted the help of Monix. Um, and basically, all his contacts came with Onyx, so uh, that's how they know each other. So what about before, before this, before you started this, who were you before you started building this? Forge? Just, uh, you know, the, the kind of generic wizard scholar research and stuff, learning knowledge. Um, he's always been looking to further his own gains, um, which is what caused him to research the ability to bind magic to physical forms. Because um, at that point, he'd obviously be able to control magic in more of a um, corporeal ma manner. Awesome. So... so you got your skill proficiencies, you got arcana and history. Yep. You got two languages of your choice, and you've got a ridiculous amount of languages there. Yep, so um, as per my race, I get a common primordial. Uh, again, elvish from my past life. Dwarvish. Um, yeah, dwarvish is a free language from the area. And then the two that I chose are my, uh, my background. I'll get onto that. Do you want me to say anything now? Uh, no, we'll keep, we'll keep going for the equipment and stuff. So your equipment, you got bottle of black ink, quill, small knife. No, you're buying equipment. Yeah, I'm right? buying, so I'll do so that after. What was your speciality? Uh, what, my arcane tradition? 
Hey, no, you're you're and your sage. Just, we're going for your background first. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's uh, I was gonna roll for that, so I'm gonna roll everything. So is it D eight? Yep, it's D eight. A uh, discredited academic, which is what I was thinking. So basically, his um, his kind of research and his kind of lust for power uh, make the other kind of sages and wizards look down on him. Awesome, and you get a feature, you researcher. Uh, yeah. Sorry to spot that in myself. Or? Yeah, tell, no, I was tell people about it. Uh, yeah, so researcher, I'll just read it from the book. So, uh, when you attempt to learn or recall a piece of law, if you do not know the information about it, you often know where or from whom you can obtain it. Usually, this information comes from library, scriptorium, university, or a sage, or the learned person or a creature. The DM might rule that the knowledge you seek is secreted away in an almost inaccessible place, and that it can't be found. Only thing to do is secrets the multiverse can require an adventure, or even a whole campaign. And this is how you found out about Gundren, and how you found out how to make all this stuff, and okay. all, all your connections, even though you're discredited. That's still yeah. a lot of people do respond to you. Okay, and then we've got your personality traits, ideal, bond, and flaw. Are you rolling for these? Yes. Great. So, two okay. really, yeah, I hope you get number one. Number one's my favourite. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so, uh, do you want me to treat them up? Yep. Yeah, so I use polysyllabic words to convey the impression of great erudition. Um, that was the first one. And then the second one is, I've read every book in the world's greatest libraries, or I like to post that I have. Awesome. Ideal? Six. So my ideal is self-improvement. The goal of life is to study the betterment of oneself. Remember, you can choose them if you'd like, if you want to choose five. Uh... Yes. Yeah, well, that's good. Um, what chance? Uh, yep, yeah, so that's uh, knowledge is the path to power and domination. The evil one. There you go, copy paste sign for you. And you're bond and flawed. Thanks, Johan. Just crunch away there. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, bond is. Yeah, that's actually the fits really well. So, um, my life's work is a series of tomes related to a specific field of law. So that's the binding of magic to his companies. And flaw. And that's going to be six, four. Four again. Uh, I overlook obvious solutions in favour of complicated ones. So rather than just uh, learning how to enchant things... <laughs> Indeed, and perhaps yeah. that was why you decided to build your own instead of finding the one that's already built yeah. as well. <coughs> right, okay, and now your um, class, you've gone with a wizard, yeah. um, so you get lots and lots of spells, as you want to go for, have you and you get professions with daggers, darts, slings, quarterstaffs and light crossbows, so I'm sure you'll have one of those. Saving throws with intelligence and wisdom, what skills did you end up choosing for, for that? Um, it was, I can't remember, investigation and, I can't remember. So you got Arcana and History from, so it must be Investigation and Perception. But you uh, couldn't have, so you couldn't have chosen, yeah. so you must have chosen the, the Perception again. You chose Arcana again, so you got your free one there. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, and you don't get anything from being a, an ear, do you? No, no, um... Fire. Fire, that's right, my apologies. Uh, do you want me to read the um, Ganassi Fire? Yeah, sure. I think, because it's quite good. Um, so, uh, Fire Ganassi is called Reach to the uh, Blaze. So I know how to produce the Flame Cantrip. And then once I reach third level, I can cast the Burning Hands spell once a uh, long rest. So you can do that straight away? Yeah. You also have resistance to fire damage and dark vision. Yeah. Awesome, okay. As a wizard, let's see here, you've got a quarter staff, and no, it doesn't matter because you're not taking any of that. And um, obviously, you'll do your spell book, and then you have a whole bunch of spells yeah. which you can go through. But, big thing about the wizard choices is your arcane school. What one did you go with? Yep, yeah, so I'll say, contrary to um, what his kind of history would ascertain to us, he is actually an avocation wizard. So He's a what? Avocation. Evocation. Yeah. 
So he's trying to bind the uh, kind of elements to his will. Yeah, that's that's what he's trying to bind them into physical forms for. To let people know it. The School of Evocation is a focus on magic that creates powerful elemental effects such as bitter cold, searing flame, rolling thunder, crackling lightning and burning acid. And he gets to sculpt spells and evocations happen. You don't really get anything good from that for a while. No, not yet. Although it's cheaper to get evocation spells, which are the best ones. Cough, fireball, cough. And what spells did you go with then? Uh, right, so I say I've got the produce flame as my cantrip from my uh, race. Uh, where the cantrips are fireball, light, and shock and grasp. No pressed agitation. I can't see how disappointed I am. <laughs> Uh, okay, so there's scan trips. Um, it's level ones. Uh, absorb elements. That's from the EE. Yep. Yeah. Uh, which, if people don't realise what it is, you basically absorb uh, the incoming energy, gain resistance to the triggering effects, and then if uh, on the first time that you gain resistance to the triggering effects, your next melee attack does one d eight damage of sorry one d six damage of that um, particular type of damage. I have that as well. It's a great spell. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. Um, I've also taken Alarm. Uh, burning Hands I get, obviously, from my uh, my, back, uh, my race. I've got Detect Magic. Find Familiar. Detect Magic's, Magic's a retro, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so that's because you can use those without using your... Uh, yeah, Alarm's also a ritual. Those are really handy. Yeah. Um, Yes, a fire familiar, magic missile, shield, sleeve, and Tasha's hideous laughter. And do you know the familiar you're going to take yet? Uh, it's going to be a hawk. Hawk, awesome. And the level 2 spells you took? It is hold person and scorching ray. Nifty, okay. Um, so what do you look like then? Uh, so, if you imagine... Um, Ginger. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know the flame matron arcs from uh, Elder Scrolls? The who? The yes. flame matron arcs from Elder Scrolls. Flame matron arcs. Oh yeah, that's Oh cool, yes, yeah. so the ones you summon, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, they're female in the uh, in the games, obviously, but um, that kind of a look to it. Um, less flame, it's more kind of a... Uh, rather than being made of flame, it's just flames occasionally coming off of his body. Um, and his lower half of his face is covered by a, uh, like a metal mask. Awesome. And your your stat array you've chosen there? So. Uh, yes, so uh, strength is 7. Dexterity, I put my 14 into that. Um, my con, I put the... Is that right? 13. Sorry, I put the 13 into dex. Uh, where's that extra come from then? Yeah, plus two and plus plus two con plus one and int. That's yes, it. I know. Right, so sorry. 13 in dex. Um, I'll pop a 14 into con, got the plus one on to make it 15. So you'll probably switch those around now to have two 14s, I imagine? Yeah, oh, I'll no. probably in a second. Well, we'll see. Um, and then you've got uh, 18 intelligence. Yeah, plus, plus one makes one. it 19. Mm -hmm. Uh, the 16 into Wisdom, and 10 into Charisma. Awesome. So you're certainly really smart and wise. I can't, I'm can't. i just so disappointed you didn't take the one that had the, the two fours and a six. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> great. <laughs> I so very much enjoyed that. Um, you took the 18, 16, 14. No, you got a 14, it was a 14. That's it, all right. Yeah, 18, 16, 14, 13, 10 and 7. Yeah, okay. So 14 ducks. And you put the 16 in wisdom. So, yeah. I might have put that in con if I should have 18 con. <laughs> but I suppose you're wanting to be at the back and you're in character, which is good. Awesome. I I picked my feet. What is by your the feet? Way. Oh, next. Tavern Brawler. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> awesome. Accustomed to rough and tumble fighting using whatever weapons to be at hand, you gain the following benefits strength or con plus one. Uh, you're proficient with improvised weapons and unarmed strikes. Do you have 20 strength now? 18. 18. 
Why would I have 20? I don't know, I thought you had an... I thought you'd... 16 in, plus 1 for Earth, plus 1 for... Um, yeah, yeah, it's just my bad. I thought you uh, unarmed strikes use D4s, and when you hit a creature with an unarmed strike or an improvised weapon on your turn, you can use a bonus action to attempt to grapple the target. And technically, a crowbar is an improvised weapon, Ross. Well, that's for sure, right, yeah. Uh, I need to find what stats I'm going to use. Uh, it's a big fucking crowbar, I'm just saying. <laughs> D6, I suppose. <laughs> nah, I think I can find a bludgeoning weapon that does more than D4. Hey, uh, well, improvised weapons, like, by definition do less, but maybe I'll, I'll let you get away with it. Uh, I'm proficient in it. Yeah, it doesn't change the... That just change whether you get your attack to the roll. Yeah. Uh, your proficiency bonus to the roll, even. Okay, right, okay, Scott, what feet did you take? Uh, yeah, so I'm torn between two feet, so... Let me guess, spell sniper's one. Yeah, Skull Sniper and Elemental Adept. Hmm. What's Elemental Adept? So, Elemental Adept, you choose a um, following damage type acid called Fire, Lightning, or Thunder. Mm -hmm. um, Spells you cast with the particular damage type that you choose, ignore resistance to that damage. Nice. Um, in addition, as well, any ones that you roll any damage can also too. So, a Fireball, for example. Yeah, so if there was anything resistance to fire. Want to give it on. So it's nice. either that or spell sniper. Uh, which, I don't know, I think I am going to take elemental adept. Cool. Great. Johan. Then. Yes, yeah. we're done. Yeah, we're done there. Johan. Um, what is your name? My name is Johan. Um, I live in Hamburg. Uh, hi. Hello. You get? No, um, my character is was an elf named Larry Ohana. And wait, did you? Ohana means family. Exactly. Family <laughs> means no one gets left behind. Yeah, but she's kind of the opposite. Um, <laughs> 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 Who would have guessed? My character is called Lovely McNice and. Boy, are they a horrible person! <laughs> yeah. I mean, Onyx Bloodhand is like a giveaway, but Lariana, not as much. Have you changed um, your clan's uh, name? Yeah, to Bloodhand. <laughs> okay. Bloodhand is a lot more psychopathic than Greenbeard. I, I agree. They're both <laughs> are quite psychopathic, I think. Yeah. Sorry, um, continue. Yeah, and I'm um, a druid. A druid of the moon. And you've, yeah. what's your background you've went with? Um, I think I'll go with Hermit. Hermit, okay. So, then... Hermit, you lived in seclusion. So what, what did you do before you met, say, or maybe before you before this event happened that turned you? Mm, I was basically... Um, she part, was part of an elven tribe. And, I mean, there are a lot of... Uh, clerics and priestess priestess in the in Elven tribes but she kind of I don't know she was she learned uh, how to be a cleric and then she decided that she absolutely hates people and basically left her tribe and became a cleric of nature and okay. then slowly became a druid and yeah she kind of she didn't live in the wildness, but um, basically walked around, uh, was generally an asshole to people. And yeah, she doesn't really like to be alone in nature. That's not a thing she does, but I mean, she doesn't like elves that much. She's kind of an asshole. So she's only got um, a few close friends that she actually likes then that are people. Yeah. I mean, most of them are not actually people about a sign some kind of bear or like a tiger that likes to maul young children or something <laughs> those, those kind of people ah oh, now i see it now i see what your character is so like oh guys there's been a tiger that's hunted people hey we've got to do something about it and you're like yes we better protect the tiger yeah. in case people can't yeah, kill I mean, we have to help him yeah um, give him some, some children for free <laughs> <laughs> so your skill proficiencies as a hermit is medicine and religion. Um, yeah. Your tool proficiencies you got the herbalism kit. 
language was one of your choice? Um, I mean, we have a lot of Dwarven right now, so I think I'll take Sylvan. Sylvan, yeah, that's very fish, certainly. You were born and grew up in the High Forest, right? The High. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, certainly fits there. There's certainly a lot of fairies, unicorns, things like that. So. Yeah, she hates unicorns. Um. <laughs> Don't go by unicorn run then. Wouldn't be a good place. Uh, and I I have herbalism kit twice now, so I'm double proficient. I mean, you get to choose another two proficiency. Of your okay. Choice. I'll just write that down and so look for are one. You, are you buying equipment or are you taking the stuff that you get? I'm buying equipment as well. Okay. So, your life of seclusion, what was the reason for your enlightenment? I mean, that wasn't really enlightenment. For you, what was the reason for your isolation then, Johan? Um, basically, she didn't like the elves. They were all high and mighty and really good, and that's a tad bit boring. Um, but it's basically like living in a tribe of paladins. That's really driving you insane, if you're reasonable. And yeah, she didn't like that and just decided to leave the tribe. The easiest way to do that was to become a druid, because then nobody would question it. Okay, so... Probably the you treated from society because you hated them then. Oh, really. I didn't hate them. I just strongly disliked. Oh, there we go. Number number six would make sense. I need to commune with nature far from civilization. Well, to be fair, civilization is something. To, oh, I, I'll live within <laughs> a second. I'm um, sure you can make up your own. I guess if you want to write like a essay on it, Johan. Um, and your feature is discovery, which you found something out in the woods. A unique and powerful discovery? Any ideas what that was? Not really. Do you want to not have I mean, a discovery? I, I, I thought uh, maybe Outlander fits more. <laughs> okay. Because that doesn't mean um, she's not really that uh, high and mighty. Mm, yeah, I think I'll take Outlander. Great. Do you get athletics and survival instead? Yeah. What were the other ones I got from Ahmed that I have to take You got right now? medicine and religion. I can see you really looked through the background when you made okay, your yeah. choice, your hand. I'm sorry, Ross. Mm -hmm. It's okay, we're still on track for being the fastest character creation video. Okay, um... Yeah, okay. athletic survival. One type of musical instrument. One mm. language of your choice, which you've chosen Sylvian. Probably battle horn or something. And your um, origin. What uh, what happens if I have survival already? Can I take something else, just random? Yeah. But it's okay. Um, origin is something I can roll for, right? Yep. Most of the things don't make any sense. May have to roll more um, than once. Exile, maybe. Maybe bounty hunter. Bounty hunter would actually be cool. Okay. What Who is did... D10? Yes, yeah, D10. The... Or you can choose Bounty Hunter. Outcast Five. or Exile. Okay, I choose Bounty Hunter. <laughs> Great. Why? Why? Who? Who did? Who? What did you hunt for money? Um, m mostly, um, people who did illegal hunting. Poachers. I don't know what they're called. Trappers. Poacher. Poachers. Poachers. Um, and maybe also you, you, you signed up to hunt animals that like people were trying to get rid of, but just to find them, and then you like... Yeah, and then I got rid of the people who were trying to find them. <laughs> Reverse bounty hunting. <laughs> <laughs> so the next time they say, I know where the animal is, I found the animal, and they come with you, hi, hey, where is it? It jumps out and you've like magically enhanced its strength and it kills everyone. Like, oh, that didn't go as planned, oh well. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so you've I've got I've got a feeling that our party's edging towards the evil side of the spectrum now. Maybe. Yeah. Edging just slightly. I mean, they're a lot of paragon of good. Well, you <laughs> said my character. Would, you said my character would hate yours. <laughs> Feature wanderer. You have an excellent memory for maps, geography. And you can always recall the blah 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 blah. It never comes up like, and you can find fresh food and water, so no one has to pay for rations ever again. <laughs> nice. And your personality traits then. And uh, 2d8, right? Yep. Uh, 
Seven and one. Go ahead and read, read those out, everyone. Um, I'm driven by a wanderlust that led me away from home. Well, that's pretty true. Uh, and I'm, I feel far more comfortable around animals than people. That's also really true. So, so is that why you hang out with the uh, dwarf? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was actually having a look through, uh, and I'm not going to change it now because I've, I've decided on my character. But uh, where is it? In in the one of the bonds for Bravo, and this fits quite well with the druid of the totem. Th uh, not druid, uh, barbarian, totem barbarian. Mm -hmm. Is you feel like a type of animal trapped in the body of a human. <laughs> it's one so of the very... bonds. So, Which is, yeah. <laughs> and that's my really dark secret that I why I hate. Oh, I'm doing quite good. I can't believe that. <laughs> because because the, that the whole idea of the barbarian is you are a you are an animal. Mm -hmm, yeah. Or, yeah, That's true. Which I think would be quite cool, but it's too late now. Yeah, and my ideal, I'd like to choose that. Yeah. Top two it's two. probably uh, nature or might. So the strongest it's, it's are might. meant to rule evil. <laughs> and you happen to think the strongest are meant to rule. Yeah. The animals are the strongest, are they, Johan? No, I'm stronger than the animals. So that's why I'm meant to rule. Bond. Um, D8, right? D6. And what? Yeah, Johan, it's been D6 for forever. <laughs> Five. I suffer mm. awful visions of a coming disaster and will do anything to prevent it. Do I, though? The coming of Mephilus. <laughs> probably. I think I you guys would be alright with that, though. Yeah, probably would be. Yeah. I, I think you, about Johan. that. Okay. I can I roll again and see what yeah, I Yeah, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> that, that's also not God. Oh, is there anything? <laughs> Maybe that's, that's why reasonable? you, you made so that one was it is my duty to provide children to sustain my tribe. Maybe that's why you talked to Lim Lugan. You know, you're trying to the, search him the, out to be a good The thing. only reasonable one is two. Okay. Because cool. it has nothing to do with my family or tribe. You get it. Read it out to me. You can't just say two. The people at home can't see you. And an injury to the unspoiled wilderness of my home is an injury to me. And <laughs> so, don't you dare you. I mean, leave your camping supplies in the forest. Or... <laughs> don't, <laughs> fucking... don't you dare let her. Yeah, don't someone let her. If you, you throw I just away a plastic them. bottle, I will turn into a bear and maul you. <laughs> I'm just imagining like an advert. I need let her an advert. It's like a little kid. He drops a right up a bear just tears him. <laughs> <laughs> and then turns and says, don't let her with blood dripping down. <laughs> yeah. And finally, your flaw. I'm like the evil version of that um, prevent forest fire bear. <laughs> yeah. There's going to be three. three. <laughs> <laughs> I remember every insult I've received and nurse a silent re resentment towards anyone who've, who's ever wronged me. Awesome. Awesome. Right, you'll love Nimrod then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just Johan brooding in the corner. Just <laughs> so pissed at Nimrod right now. I'm so pissed. Oh, yeah. Awesome. So, as a ear Ganassi, you get um, unending breath. So, as long as you're not unconscious, you don't need to breathe or you can hold your breath forever. Yeah, that's um, really bad for like brooding or being. I don't know, I'll hold my breath till you do what I mean. <laughs> what I want. <laughs> um, and mingle with the wind. You can cast levitate once a day. Your deck score also increased by one, and your Christ, your fucking character is ridiculous. You are, and your uh, con increases by two. So he's getting <laughs> so? nine strength, eighteen decks, nineteen con, eight intelligence, and seventeen wisdom. 12 charisma. My goodness. Why didn't you go a water one for the increase to the wisdom? Because mm. that plus one to this, where's the plus one to the X is getting you an 18, but. Yeah. Up to you. That's fine. Um, no, no. I'd rather have 18 wisdom if I was a druid. Okay. Um, and you've went with Druid of the Moon. So as a druid, you get saving proficiencies in intelligence and wisdom, and you get to choose... Sorry, my, my PDF is side to lag. 
Um, th is it? Choose two from that, and you've chosen survival and acrobatics. Yeah, acrobatics is not in there. Arcana, survival and acrobat, arcana. So you took you took acrobatics from the the free one you got. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You get a herbalism kit. You get light armor, medium armor, and shields as long as they're not metal. You get clubs, daggers, darts, javelins, maces, quarterstaff, scimitar, sickles, slings, and spears. Very particular. Yeah. Are. You. Sickle would be nice. You speak druidic. Which is good, and you can automatically spot messages left in the land by other druids. And you get a whole bunch of spells, and you get wild shape. And, and I get improved wild, wild shape. From druid of the moon. Yeah. Let me go look at this here. Basically, I can turn to um, animals of CR1 or um, my druid level divided by three rounded down. Okay, so, so I, I level one until CR1, it. yeah, CR1 until you're level six then. Yeah. Awesome, okay. Um, yes, and you also get combat wild shape, which you you can use your spell points to heal yourself, spell slots to and heal I, yourself. And wild shape is a bonus action. And it's a bonus action, that's quite good. And what spells did you end up taking then? You have mm. two cantrips. And oh no, you don't. Just your cantrips you choose. You don't yeah. have to choose your spells. I I put like most of my spells, um, most of the spells I will use down anyway. Okay. And cantrips you took. Um, I took levitate. I get from my background. I took frostbite. It's from the E. Mm -hmm. And shillala 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 shillala. Good, good times with Shillelagh. It sounds like a like a really ghetto name, doesn't it, Shillelagh? Shaniqua. <laughs> hey, Shillelagh! <laughs> awesome. Okay, so how is it you came to know um, Lim L Lugan? And why you well, basically, um, for this elemental forge, you need... You don't only need um, Arcanus, Oh, arcane magic, but uh, you also need, need some kind of um, divine. divine magic, and I could provide that. And so I, I was, I mean, I, I would profit from that um, forge as well. So I decided to lend my wisdom to them. Awesome. And now that was some time ago. The three of you guys were working together in the high forest um, at your, uh, Lim Lugan's own little tower on the Heartblood River, which is known for being red and magical. Um, you guys were, were trying to build yourself a forge to turn magic into, as Logan said, uh, physical objects. And it all went wrong and blew up in your face. Um, and that is when you guys got changed and then you all gathered together in the ruined tower with the, all your life work completely destroyed and you're like, had an idea, so obviously we were trying to create the forge to bind the elemental forces, and we just brought the own elemental force to it, you know, earth, uh, air and fire. Mm -hmm. But instead of it binding them to objects that we were trying to create or to, you know, magical artifacts, it bound them to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys had another um, friend as well, who was part of that, but who disappeared that night. Hot hook! Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I think that's good. They added, what, what would they have done to be the, the fourth it element? Was, it was a human uh, who was helping us. A human sorcerer of some sort. Oh yeah, for the wild uh, magic, yeah. But, uh, yeah, wild magic and all that sort of stuff. And um, the But when it happened to us, like Larry, O'Hana, sort of became ethereal for me, kind of like wispy like there. I like solidified into rock and uh, Lim Lugan burst into flames. And he, he burned down the tower basically. But he turned into water and just like sort of drained into the earth and just disappeared and we don't know what happened to him or her. Disappeared into the river 
Yeah, yeah, because there was a there was a waterfall we were building us under yeah. and got swept away in the water. We don't know what happened. It was just us three that were left. And one really hopes that they don't blame the three of you for what's happened to them. Uh, my snake, my pet snake, also got turned into a sort of a metallic-y, rocky type thing. As well. You have an <laughs> onyx! You have an onyx, is that right? <laughs> and you have a fire uh, hook? Yeah. You, know, you need to have some sort of 80... I've no idea what, how something would be 80. I have a raven. Just turn it to Pidgey. No, I don't have a raven. <laughs> oh. I don't yeah. want to deal with that. Yeah. Okay. I've, cool. got, I've got a pet snake, and it's like not like a like a like a sort of a small snake. So it's like a big ass over the shoulder snake. <laughs> that that yeah. I kind of have just over my shoulders. Um. Great. So yeah. So that happened say six months ago. You guys tried to recover your your life's work, but obviously, you know it was it was irrecoverable. And then you heard tales as you're like, because you all none of you really wanted to go back with the way you were now because things is you look you all completely look different you feel different you all magically learn to communicate and you felt the power of uh you know each of you had their own special abilities that you all were learning to use and stuff and then you'd heard tales that drifted up um the high forest and when you guys had to go get your shopping or whatever of, of a, that, that, that someone had found what you'd base your original work on um, which was the forge of spells and Neverwinter, uh, over by Vandelver region, and you guys headed off out there, and you're looking for the Rockseeker brothers, because that's the clue you've got. And as soon as someone dies, we get in a water, water, water gymnasty. Well, that could happen, Johan, or something else could happen regarding that. Who knows, Ross? Who knows? You have spurned me. You made me cut the giant... Giant Gyarados appears. This <laughs> is Hyperbeam. Great, okay, so I think that's just done. Anyone else say anything? Trinkets! Oh, we've got trinkets for two, you oh, guys. Oh, yeah. For Scott and... Um, Can I change my, my bludgeoning weapon that I have? Sure. From the crowbar. And it's not in the, uh, the book. Mm -hmm. But can I have brass knuckles? Sure. That do D6. I've okay. got a one pound egg made from a red shell. I've got a tiny cage with no door. Phoenix egg, that's what that is. Rising from the ashes, fire, and all that. That's your stuff. hawk, man. Your hawk hatches from that repeatedly. Actually, yeah, I have. I had an eagle or something, a pet eagle, but when I turned into an Al Janassi, he turned into a wisp, and so I have this cage without doors. With an, a wisp inside that just, is, just do yeah, it doesn't do anything. It shakes the cage around a lot, and it's like a, like a poltergeist, but it doesn't do anything really. Cool, but you you keep it because you know you connected with it. Um, anything else then? Johan, what's your feet? Um, I took mobile. Okay, you want to be phoning some people during the. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> no, that'd be that'd be handy, wouldn't it? <laughs> You'd be taking handy oh. for a German. Yeah. So what is oh. mobile? Oh, I've got another really cool thing as well. Sorry. Um, mobile basically means I get plus ten movement speed, and um, as soon as I attack, I can withdraw. So basically, from if one isn't... creature. From one. From one key creature. Mm -hmm. So if I fight someone and he isn't ranged, I can just kite him. And when you use the dash action, difficult terrain doesn't cost you any movement. Awesome. Yeah. Onyx, what did you want to say? So, my brass knuckles, so I was wearing them at the time when we were messing around with this elemental of magic. So, like, my body's more like... <laughs> fucking casually wearing your, your brass knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think about But because the metal was on my hand, the metal became forged in with my skin. So, they, so it's now like I've got golden or brassy coloured knuckles. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's really cool. That's pretty cool, yeah. Like I've got metal I've got metal knuckles, but the rest of he's more like just hardened dark black, like rocky skin. Or dark grey more than black, I suppose. But yeah. Awesome, okay. So yeah. I think we're done. Look, there. Logan, you should have taken the same background and instead got a whip and it would be a fire whip. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. 
<laughs> that would be pretty cool, yeah. The Genasi are really cool, I really like the Genasi. Because you can have, like, everything you want with Genasi. You can have your, your normal human background or whatever, and then you can suddenly, my life changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Jack? Mr. Quiet. That's the Fire Nation attacked him. Well, he became the Fire Nation, really. <laughs> I suppose that's true. When we, yeah. my, uh, uh, what was that? Everything was the same. When I joined the, then I joined the Fire Nation. <laughs> yeah. No, it's actually a really cool backstory you guys have, and I'm, I really can't wait to see how much. I think we should um, do a combined backstory tomorrow. Like often. how we interact. Oh yeah, and now yeah. that we are all evil as fuck, we can just do whatever we want. Yeah. Sensibly uh, yeah. evil, like name or look. And so many spells now. I have so many. Yeah, why didn't you tell us what you took for, for your level 3 stuff? Okay, so for my level up, I got one extra spell, first of all. Um, like, I learned that spell, and I took Scorching Ray, the level 2 spell, which is 5-3 rays. Um... Roll separate hit for each of them, and each one that hits does 2d6 fire damage. Um, we need to hit both targets for the same scorch array at the same time. Yep. Yeah, also, also crap, though. So when I leveled, I took the. I got my pack tome. Uh, tome sorry, my pack spoon. I took pack to the tome. Oh, interesting. Which gives interesting. me three. Um, which is basically my demonic Bible, right? Um, and I get three. Uh, Hand trips from any spell list I want. So I took Control Flames, Reduce Flame, and Shocking Grasp. Um, so the idea is behind, like, I oh, could like, have a fire and have, have my, like, Lord speak to people from within the fire, right? Okay, okay. Uh, and con Reduce Flame is just a cool spell, and Shocking Grasp is useful because I need something for melee. Um, also, um, lastly, I am swapping out one of my. Um, I'm swapping out my mask of many faces. Um, evocation mm -hmm. for my for what's it called uh, book of ancient secrets, which lets me gives me two first level spells with a ritual tag from any class of spell list, and I have them in my book and I can cast them as rituals, um, and I can add more rituals to the book just infinitely if I just pay um, pay money for the nice. And I'm, I've not 100% decided what I'm going to take. Pain for No. Um, no. <laughs> I think I might take that later. So I can let me, um, so, uh, is it Limu? Limu Lugan. Limu uh, are you a wizard? Yeah. Okay, I, I, yeah, so I, um, I didn't want it because I'm not really a bit few in it. I've got my goblin guy anyway. Um, it's not really familiar, but, so I'm <laughs> going to take, <laughs> uh, and so I can learn it. Like I can just learn it later off the game yeah, if I need true. to. Um, uh, no, I'm taking comprehend languages, which lets me read anything and und understand any languages. Because um, I want that for to read the open book. Uh, and I'm taking identify as well. Awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Which uh, I think identify is a bit useless in the this edition, though. There's no um, more magic weapons. There should be more magic weapons. I don't agree with that. Oh, there are well, so just the, many the fact cool that you can identify items. items by spending an hour with them. Yeah, but if you like, you want to know what it is immediately. Yeah. Um, Though, of course, it takes, as you what, cast it as a ritual, minute? rituals yeah. increase by 10 minutes. It takes 4 hours. So it takes so 4 hours, minutes. takes 10 minutes. Uh, where was it I found? I the ritual version it. of a spell takes 10 minutes longer. Uh, so you then. You then uh, you know, properties where it requires attunement, how many charges it has, if any, um, if there are any spells affecting the item or person, and what they are, and if it was created by a spell, you'll learn which spell created it. It's good if there's any curses. Yeah, or charm people. If so, if you think someone's charmed or being controlled, then That's true, it works with that as well. Um, so I now have one, two, I have five cantrips, five level one spells, and one level two spell. Awesome. So you can't you can't cast your rituals using your spell slots, right? I can't no. Okay, I, don't think so. I can only cast them as rituals. And your spell slots also leveled up now, so all spells you cast will be level two. Yes. Um I don't even think that affects any of my spells. It affects charm person and command. I can affect more people with those. <laughs> awesome. Great. So thank you very much for watching everyone. Um we will be back Thursday evening.
um, around say five, six o'clock, and hopefully, you know, Namerlock will have gotten all of his, all of his loot, and we'll. Oh, I counted it all up. It's about thirteen hundred gold, but. I told you that. <laughs> and uh, we'll see what the how he how he likes the three parties who are looking for Gungeon. So, thanks and cheerio. Oh, almost almost got under an hour.